Hello, I am Dr. Aruna Saman and in this video, we are going to discuss experimental proofs for DNA as genetic material. It has now become a common knowledge that in an organism, the genes, they control the inheritance of traits. These genes are located on chromosome and chemically, the genes are composed of DAV. But initially, most geneticists thought that genes contain proteins and proteins have all the information needed to govern the cell metabolism. Over a period of 25 years, from 1928 to 1952, geneticists got convinced that DNA and not protein was the genetic material. If we recall some facts about DNA, then DNA is one of the nucleic acids. The other nucleic acid is RNA. It was Frederick Mischer who first isolated DNA from the white blood corpuscles of pus. Initially, the substance separated from nucleus was called nuclein. Later, because of its acidic nature, it was called nucleic acid. But the nuclein, which was separated from the WBCs, was a mixture of proteins and nucleic acid. Now we are going to see few experiments which helped in the shift of opinion, stating that it is the DNA and not protein as genetic material. The most important three experiments are Griffith's experiments performed in 1928, Avery, McCarthy and McLeod experiment performed in 1944 and Hershey Chase experiment in 1952. Let us first understand the Griffith's experiment. For his experiment, Griffith used Streptococcus pneumoniae bacteria. These bacteria cause pneumonia in humans and other mammals, which was a common cause of death at that time. Griffith used two strains, smooth strain, which was virulent or pathogenic, it was causing pneumonia, and rough strain, which was non-virulent, non-pathogenic, that means it was not causing pneumonia. It was called smooth strain because it has a coat which made it smooth, whereas the rough strain was without coat. Now, when the smooth strain bacteria, S strain bacteria, were injected to mice, the mice had pneumonia and they died. Whereas, when rough strain bacteria were injected to mice, the mice never suffered from pneumonia, the mice survived. Another set of bacteria used by Griffith were the smooth strain but heat kid. Because of exposure to high temperature, these bacteria, though initially they were virulent or pathogenic, they became non-virulent and when such heat killed bacteria were injected, the mice did not suffer from pneumonia, it survived. Now let us understand the actual experiments carried out by Griffith. First, when he injected the bacteria of R strain, that is a rough strain, non-pathogenic, and what is observed, the mouse lives, never suffers from pneumonia. In the second experiment, the smooth strain, S strain, pathogenic bacteria were injected and naturally because they were pathogenic bacteria, the mouse dies because of pneumonia. Then third experiment, the smooth strain that is pathogenic but heat killed that is they lost the capacity of causing pneumonia they became non-pathogenic 
and such heat kill as strain bacteria when injected the mouse lives because it never suffers from pneumonia and in the fourth experiment it was the mixture of rough strain non pathogenic and heat kill as strain which are also made non pathogenic so entire mixture was non pathogenic and this mixture when was injected surprisingly the mouse dies and further it was found that in the blood of this mouse the live s strain bacteria were present the s strain bacteria were never there in the mixture which was injected but when the mouse suffers from pneumonia in its blood the s strain bacteria were found so it was concluded by griffith that the live r strain bacteria they transfer something from s strain because of which the r strain got transformed into s strain he called this transforming principle every mccarty and mccloyd experiment we have seen in the griffiths experiment that there is some genetic material which got transformed from the heat killed s bacteria s strain bacteria to r strain bacteria but what exactly was the chemical nature of that transforming principle is proved by every mccarty and mccloyd experiments you can say it was the first experimental proof about chemical nature of genetic principle which griffith called transforming principle what every mccarty and mccloyd did they took the cell free extracts of smooth strain bacteria they collected separately the proteins rna and other material plus dna all four different chemical constituents from s strains were collected separately and they were mixed with the r strain separately so when purified proteins were mixed with the rough strain what was the observation the rough strain bacteria never got transformed into s strain then the purified rna separately was added to the rough strain bacteria the observation the rough strain did not transformed into smooth strain that means rna is also not the transforming material then other substances such as carbohydrates they were added to the rough strain still it was observed that it was also not the transforming principle but when purified dna was added to the rough strain the observation was the rough strain got transformed into s strain or smooth strain that means dna is the transforming material the genetic material further confirmation of dna as genetic material is given this way the r strain and heat killed s strain mixture was taken and when it was injected to mice it was observed that the mice suffered from pneumonia and it dies now what is done is to this mixture which was pathogenic dna's enzyme the enzyme which deactivates dna is added to this mixture and what was observed when this mixture was injected to mice the mice did not suffer from pneumonia that means dna was the transforming material and by using dna's enzyme that dna got destroyed got inactivated and therefore transformation did not occur of r strain into s strain and therefore mice did not had pneumonia 
whereas the mixture when is when to that mixture rnas or proteins enzymes are added which will deactivate rna or protein protein and such mixture was injected then it was observed that the mice dies because of pneumonia that means transforming principle material has remained intact so it must be dna it can't be rna because rna got destroyed it can't be protein because protein got destroyed so only dna was active here and dna from that heat killed s strain transform the r strain into s strain so it is the dna which is the genetic material but still all the scientists were not accepting this fact and the third set of experiments performed by hershey and chase bacteriophage virus was used in this experiment this virus attacks bacteria and on infection the virus introduces its dna into the bacterial body it takes the control of the bacterial body cell metabolism and prepares the multiple copies of itself this is what happens and now in the experiment what is done is a cultural medium containing radioactive sulfur s35 was used and on this cultural medium the bacterial phage viruses were cultured naturally these bacterial phages will have radioactive sulfur in their protein coat because sulfur is present in proteins it is not present in dna so protein coat will be radioactive in the second set of experiment the medium containing radioactive phosphorus was used and the bacterial phages were grown in this medium these are bacterial phages they have radioactive dna because the medium contains phosphorus which was radioactive and phosphorus is present in the dna and therefore in these phages the dna will be radioactive now we have two sets of viruses one set having protein coat with radioactive sulfur and other set having the dna with radioactive phosphorus these phages were used for attacking bacteria separately so when the phages with radioactive protein coat and the phages with radioactive dna were allowed to attack the escherichia coli bacteria and when the infection further proceeded naturally the viruses introduce the dna in the bacterial body but in this experiment hershey and chase wanted to prove that this material which got transformed in the bacterial body is dna for that purpose further the blending and centrifugation is done during blending the bacteria and viral bodies were converted into smaller fragments and by centrifugation the viral particles and bacterial particles got separated the viral particles were found in the supernatant and in the precipitate the bacteria in the form of pellets now next thing what is done is radioactivity was checked in the bacteria infected with the virus having protein coat with radioactive sulfur and in those bacteria the radioactivity was not found because the dna was not containing radioactive phosphorus here the sulfur was present in the protein coat whereas the other bacteria which were infected by the viruses having radioactive 
DNA, these bacteria were having radioactivity because the DNA was introduced by the viruses in the bacteria. So thus it was proved that what material, genetic material gets introduced in the bacterial body is DNA. Once again, the observation, if you recall, the bacteria which were infected with viruses having radioactive protein core were not radioactive. Whereas the bacteria which were infected with phages having radioactive DNA were radioactive. From this observation, it was concluded that it is the DNA which is the genetic material that passes from viruses to bacteria. Thus, in this video, we have discussed the three important experiments which are Griffith's experiment, Avery McCarthy and McLeod experiment and Hershey Chase experiment. We have come to the end of our discussion on experimental proofs for DNA as genetic material. Viewers, if you have liked my video, please subscribe for it, share your comments and press the like button. Thank you.